Okay, so we're going to talk about systems of equations. Now, there's different ways of solving a system of equations. Let me come up with an example, first of all. Let's say I have y equals 2x plus 3. And let's say I have another equation, y equals negative 1 third x um, plus 1. And hopefully these equations will work out. Usually when they have a system of equations, they're going to put some kind of indicator, like a, a brace or a bracket that says we're going to use those two equations together. So one of the methods we have to solve them is the graphing method. Um, that's what we've been working on in this section, so we're going to use that. All right, so I'm going to graph the top line. And it has an intercept of 3, 1, 2, 3, a y-intercept, and then a slope of 2. So it looks like that line's going something like that. Now I'm going to graph the other line. It goes through at the point y, or 1 on the y-axis, and it has a slope of negative 1 third. Okay, so it goes something like that. These lines are not perpendicular. They almost look perpendicular, but they're not. We can tell by the slopes they're not perpendicular. But when we're solving an equation, what we're looking for is we're looking for this point right here where the two lines intersect. What that point means is that that point that I have in green there, it makes both equations true. There's only one point where it intersects. Um, that point is on the orange line, and that point is on the black line. So it's a true point for both of those equations, okay? So this is a way to solve the equation. Now, what is that point? I don't know. It looks like it's about uh, maybe negative 0 0.8, <laughs> and maybe eh, 1.4 or something. So now you might be having some questions. You might be saying, ah, what am I going to do? You know, I'm not going to know how to read that off a graph. Exactly. That's the problem with solving a system by graphing. You're getting a ballpark figure. You know, it's around that point that I have listed. And if I asked you to graph something by um, solved by graphing and you came up with that, I would be okay with that, you know, even if it wasn't exactly right because you're trying to read it off the graph. The nice thing about graphing is it's a picture and it helps us understand what's going on. We have two different lines, they intersect. There's one point that satisfies both equations. Fortunately, we have other methods for solving. Substitution is another method. Oops, let me spell substitution. Uh, that's the method we're going to see here. Okay, I can't spell. And you may remember the elimination method, or sometimes they'll say elimination by addition. Uh, there are other methods. You can use matrices. And there's like three, at least three different ways to do it with matrices. You can use inverses, or Kramer's rule, or gauss jordan But we're not going to talk about matrices. Um, that's not something we're going to cover. So. That's, so we're not going to do all of these. We will look at the substitution method. The book says we're going to solve a system by graphing. And I've shown you an example. And uh, there's a little more, though, I want to tell you. Okay. So not all lines intersect, right? So let's say you have a line like this, and then you have a line that's parallel. Those are not going to have a solution. There'd be no solution here because there's no point that satisfies both equations, okay? The third case, you could have a line. Um, this might be hard for me to draw, but you could have a line. And then the other line might actually just be the same line, but it looked like it was a different line. Like they gave you two equations, but it turned out they were really just the same line, okay? So that can happen. In that case, there are an infinite number of solutions.
Now, the way to uh, write that infinite number of solutions is the line that they gave you. Usually you just pick the one that's the most simplified. But I wanted to go over those different cases in case it comes up.